Hello again, welcome back to my Enigmatica 2 playthrough. Um, just clearing out my base a little bit more before we get started with Enigmatica 2. I need a little bit more space in here. Anything in this? Good. No. <laughs> I know every time I turn around, it looks like we're expanding the base more, and we kind of are. Um, there we go. But it's for a good cause. Alright, go ahead and sleep through the night. Alright, now the foundation of this mod pack is blank patterns is the first thing we need and those are gotten from I need some wood planks here and then I need some sticks so blank patterns are made by two sticks and then two uh, planks and those give you four blank patterns each so we have our blank patterns and now we need a we're gonna need more than that so I'm actually gonna make some more here Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Twelve more patterns ought to be enough for now. Um, we need one of those books we grabbed earlier. Here we go. And a book with a blank pattern should get us materials in you. Yes, there we go. And that is a quest. Yep. So claim that. And now we're going to put it grass down this tree. Next we need a stencil table. So a stencil table is I believe it's a plank with a blank pattern above it yes so there's that yep and we are going to put that right in the corner here I'm gonna eat some food real quick okay let's see what our next uh, quest item is Claim that loot chest. I need a part builder. Part build. Oh, my bad. Part builder. And let me get these loot chests out of our inventory. Loot chests. Ooh, and stone. Loot chests that the quest book rewards can really contain about anything. They're pretty random on what they can have. And some of it's really great, and some of it is crap and worthless and junk. And yeah, it's just bad. So let's see here. We need, um... Oh yeah, one thing I'm going to start working on is we need grout, which I've already got it pulled up here. Uh, grout is used to make seared bricks, which are used in making the Tinker's Forge, the Tinker's Smeltery, whatever you want to call it. And we need a ton of this stuff, probably two to three stacks worth. And let's see. Just part tool station. Okay, I think this would go here. And so we're going to start with this 16 blocks, and then we're going to shift click this and get. What am I missing? Oh, gravel. Oh, I need more gravel than I thought I did. Oh, crap. Yeah, I need way more gravel than I thought I did. Alright, um. I'll be right back. I'm going to go in the water and grab some of that, so I will be with you guys in just a minute. Okay, we're back. I just went, um, went swimming down in this lake over here and dug out the gravel from the sides of the lake there, and we got over a stack, so we should be good now. Yeah. I just know from when I built a Tinger's Forge in the past, you need a ton of grout to get started on this. You don't need as much once we get it, but, um... Until then, we need a lot. Okay, there we go. That's two stacks. That's pretty good to start with. So we'll just go ahead and... Cook this up. Yep. 
And yeah, we need all of that cooked up, so that's gonna take a while. Alright, in the meantime, while that's cooking, uh, we need the part builder. Which, a part builder, I believe, is a plank, or a, like, main wood with a plank patterning. Yes, it is. There's the part builder. So let's get that quest. There we go. That goes there. Uh, claim that loot chest. Next, we need the tool station. Tool station is crafted from a crafting table with a blank pattern. And there's our tool station. Okay, and that goes there. So how the, this Tinker's Construct works is you have these blank patterns I mentioned we needed. And you can... Oh, we actually got a, another quest done for the grout. <laughs> Uh, lapis encrusted block. Uh, throw that in there for now. Claim that. Claim that. There we go. So like right here, it wants us to make a pickaxe head pattern. So how this works, let me go into the tool station. Say you want to make a pickaxe. You need a head, a tool binding, and a tool rod. So how that starts is you come over here and you click, say you want a pickaxe head, and there you take the pattern, and there we have it. You use the part builder to make the piece. Like, see here we put two cobblestone, and we have a stone pickaxe head here. So to give you an example of how this works, we're going to go ahead and keep opening these chests as I get them. So let's see what the next quest gives us that it wants. Okay, that's another. So tool rod and tool and a binding pattern. We need that anyway. So there's tool rod and tool binding. Walnut door. I don't need that. The one thing you probably notice is that, you know, we're carrying these patterns, and this takes up a lot of inventory space eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a chest and grab a pattern, a blank pattern, and put it over the chest. And look at that, this creates a pattern chest. Now, what the pattern chest does, it goes here, and it can actually store, see it holds the patterns we have. And if you look on the left here, we can now access them from the part table, the part crafter, and we can access them from the stencil table. So we can create one like we're going to do right here, and see, you can put it in there. So, for right now, I need this because I think that's our next quest. So we're going to claim that. And then, yeah, there's. Claim that one. Villager Market. Um, that could be decent later. Chili Dog. Now, these uh, loot chests we're getting, these are, they are very hit or miss. They can have really good items, most of the time they don't. Most of the time it's not much worth getting. So what's our next quest here? We need an axe head. So let's get an axe. Oh, I gotta have it in my inventory for it to count. There we go. So claim that, and then the final, or second to last one. Sword blade and wide guard. So, sword blade, wide guard, and then we need a sharpening kit for the last one. There we go. Ooh, we got a farmer. Farmer is really good, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and claim these loot chests. And you see we completely finished this branch of the quest tree already for Tinker's Construct. Let's go ahead and claim that. Ender Offset Wand. I have no clue what that is or what it does. Uh, sausage bread. Let me throw all this in here. Okay. Oh, geez. It's nighttime and I didn't have the door closed. I'm an idiot. Okay. Let me go ahead and claim... There we go. Almost two stacks done with that. Let's 
So if we check our quest book here, it gave us the seared brick. Uh, first thing it wants us is a smeltery controller and a seared tank. Oh, quest. My bad. Uh, for that, I'm actually going to need some glass. I'm going to go ahead and forge 16 glass, because we are going to use glass at some point. Okay. Let me grab all of these that I can. My gosh, my inventory is packed. Um, I'm going to put the farmer in here. Let's see what this chest is. Reinforcement. That's actually a pretty nice thing to have. Alright, chuck that in there. Okay, so now... A smeltery controller. I believe we have our smeltery... Our seared bricks here. I believe it's just in a ring. Uh, yeah, there's our controller. And now for the tank, I need some glass, which I've got right here. So I believe it's glass surrounded by... Yep, there it is. Seared tank. Now, let's see, we need... Okay, this is going to be done later, because my design does not use four drains and four faucets. That is massive overkill. Um... Yeah, and I don't need two casting basins or two casting tables. Well, then again, I mean, I could create that. I mean, it, it wouldn't be that difficult. Um, uh, we're going to need some more grout if I do that, though. So let's go ahead and look at getting some more grout. What am I missing? Oh, sand and clay. All right, let me... Uh, Go ahead and get all that clay right there. Grab our sand. And let's see what I can do for grout here. Stack and a half, that should be pretty decent. So let's see here, put that there. We'll split this up and cook it as evenly as we can. Just to speed it up a bit. Put two there. Man, I could have used more furnaces. That's okay. This won't take too long. All right, let me claim. Oop, let me claim this loot chest in the meantime. Mark it. That's actually a pretty decent one to get. Okay, now this seared tank. This is what holds the fuel of the smeltery, and it actually runs off of lava. So we're actually going to have to find some lava before we can power this thing. So also in the meantime, we have a quest for 24 seared bricks, which is just, see that in a pattern like so. So there's 16 right there. And give me eight more like that. And that should get that quest done. Yep, okay, claim that. Uh, let's see. Seared furnace controller, which I don't know how to make that. I'm going to have to look that one up. And that's kind of pointless. I don't need that. At least for right now, that's pointless. Alright, how are we doing here, folks? Um, we're getting there. And throw the rest of the grout in here. Actually, hang on. I can throw all of it in there. Alright, well, I think this design is going to be kind of silly because I don't need this much, but we'll do it anyway. So we need four drains, it said, and this is how you make a drain. It's just um, bricks on each side, so there's four drains. And then the faucet that we need, one, two, three, four, is just in the shape of a bucket, really. So there's that. Okay. Two casting basin, two casting table. That's going to take some more, uh, 
some more seared bricks than we have currently. Okay, so a casting table is in this shape. So see, there's our we got two casting tables, and then a casting basin is the opposite direction. It's a U shape. And there we go. All right, let me take care of these loot chests real quick. These do take up inventory space. Oh, we got a, a builder's one, an unbreakable one at that. And then slime block, kind of worthless. All right, is it nighttime? Yes, it is. All right, let me uh, throw my bed back down. Because we're ready to start carving out a piece of land to make this thing. But I need some space out here. I think I'm going to put it actually right where this is, just to kind of make it easier. So let me dig out right in this middle. It's going to be the base of its uh, a 3x3. Three three. Jeez, frickin' creepers. Dang it. Normally if I know how I disable their ability to destroy blocks... Oh, frickin'... Oh my gosh. Really? As I was saying, I normally disable their ability to destroy blocks because it's a pain in the butt to fix the holes they leave in the landscape. I think they came from here. I'm gonna light this up. Alright, there we go. That was ridiculous. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Ugh, this is so annoying. Dang them. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this stupid hole that that thing left. Well, both of them. I didn't even see that second one. And then in my panic, I started typing something and, yeah, got stuck down there with it. Okay, jeez. Alright, so yeah, our Tinker's Forge is going to go right here. So we start by laying the foundation. Then we need the back of it, and then up front here, we need our seared tank. And then our controller, let me find it, here it is, smeltery controller. We have another seared brick right there. All right. We need more seared bricks on the side. And you see that window lit up. Technically, it is functional right now. If I had fuel and can run it, we could use it right now. But we're not done yet. As you make it bigger, you can do more with it. So we're going to add some more blocks to this. So we have four drains. We're going to put one here. One here. Actually, I don't I don't need four of these for this. Huh. Alright, let me just throw some of this crap here. I'll fix this more in between episodes, because this really annoys me that 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 we got two explosions there. Okay, they're fine. Fix it now. Okay, let me get some more, um... Some more... Seared bricks. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, and see now it's... There's more blocks here to work with. 
So now we have our two casting basins and two casting tables. Um, this is really massive overkill. We shouldn't need this ever. But we'll go ahead and put the basins and the casting tables down and get our faucets on everything. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess it could come in handy. But um, this should be enough for now. We shouldn't need anything else. So now the only thing we're missing for this to be functional is lava. And yeah, we need lava before we can do anything with this forge at this point. So this is great, but we're missing lava at this right now. Oh, I didn't claim that. My bad. There we go. Alright. So, let me check our time here. And we got a few minutes left, so give me a few minutes and I'm going to get ready to head down and cave for a little bit. So, I will be back shortly. Okay, we've dug down from our uh, little room up there. And we have just hit our first cave level. Found some iron in the wall here and it broke out into a cave. So, we'll take a look around here real quick. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Oh, I see a skeleton. Got him. Now we're going to try to get this place lit up. Oh. Okay, he's kind of hidden back there for now. Okay. Got some gravel right there. Oh, with a zombie. Alright, I'm gonna go for him. Got him. Okay. Let's get this lit up. Okay, that took more hits than the last one did. Alright. Our health's actually kind of low. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, dead end. Cool. Alright. Well, this part's safe, at least. We're gonna try to keep getting our health back. So I'm sure there's gonna be more um, more little friends down here as we explore. Oh, oh yep, like I said. Okay, very good. I don't know where he came from. Oh, I hear another sca oh. There's a place up above us right here. Hang on. Maybe I can just dig to it from here. Yep. Okay. Drives me nuts when I hear the skeleton and I don't see him. Okay, we're going to walk down here, and there's a creeper. Of course there is. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. We're going to retreat until I get some food back. Oh my gosh. That's a little too close. <laughs> I have one heart. Um, do I have any better food? Oh my gosh, I look like a pin cushion. I actually did not bring much food with me. 
And I don't know why. I should have brought a lot more. Must have been a mistake. Alright, well, we'll keep going for the moment, but I'm going to have to turn back if I run into anything at this point, because I'm probably going to die if I find much more in the way of combat right now. Yeah, like a creeper, for instance. Nope. Not playing that game. Got him. Okay. Okay, just bats right here. Okay. Okay, zombies are fine. They can't shoot me. Okay. Alright, this is good. So far, so good. Let's go down here. Oh. Oh, well that was a disappointing end there. Okay, well we found our first decent cave. But... We need some lava, and we're probably going to have to go deeper for that, so... I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I think we've got most of this cave fairly well conquered for right now. We've gotten... Everything's pretty well lit up. Well, except for right down here, apparently. Oh, we have a big hole right here. And I see lava down there. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes. So, yeah. I will work my way down there, and I will see you guys next time.